Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here and in this session, I'm going to discuss with you all regarding the latest updates that we have in SAP S4 HANA. So as we all know, in this uh, month of August, we have uh, we have uh, a new version of SAP S4 HANA that's 1808 and this is an overview part one and I'm going to make a few more videos on this uh, uh, update on SAP S4 HANA 1808 because there are too many things that I wanted to discuss very in detail about what exactly are the are the other latest uh, latest options that we have in SAP S4 HANA 1808. So let's start off with the uh, basic stuff here. So uh, about SAP uh, roadmaps, like uh, basically SAP has already laid some roadmaps which the companies today are planning their digital journeys, transforming business models, re-engineering uh, business processes and reimagining work. So SAP roadmaps highlight innovations that may help enterprises plan and implement our digital journey. So they span products uh, relevant to lines of business in our industry and explain how uh, our innovations may add value to the business. So SAP roadmaps that you can you can learn about innovations uh, along four different timelines. We have recent innovations, plan innovations, product product direction and product vision. So these are the four major uh, ways in which we can we can uh, take for, take it forward in the roadmap. So we have recent innovations for SAP products that have been launched in the SAP past weeks or months and can already be purchased. Those are the recent innovations and plan are for the future. And the product directions are like you know what exactly are the significant uh, you know directions that has been given in this latest uh, version of SAP HANA. And we have the product vision as well, where we have providing the high level and long term business perspective or innovations for for our products. So here I'll give you a very clear basic overview of the roadmap that we have uh, for SAP S4 HANA Cloud uh, particularly. We had uh, in November 2017, we had seen the SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1711 and then we had 1802 in the February and uh, in 1804 in May and uh, right now uh, the latest launch was, uh, you know, SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1808 which was la launched in August. And the next version, the next uh, version would be launched in November, and that would be the SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1811 uh, version. So we have SAP S4 HANA Cloud ecosystem, in which we have various uh, new new uh, dimensions have been introduced in the recent times, wherein we are going to discuss about all these new dimensions in a in a different session. But in this session, I'm focused more on 1808 uh, updates rather than you know descriptions about all these new dimensions. So SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA 1808 has uh, these predominant uh, capabilities like first one is the intelligent ERP, industry excellence and operational excellence. So these are the three themes on, on which uh, the entire 1808 has been predominant and I'm going to discuss more in detail about the intelligent ERP in this session. I'm going to come back to industry excellence and operational excellence in other sessions which, we, which, we, which are going to be continued after this session. So in this particular video session, I'm going to discuss only about the intelligent ERP, ERP topic. So we have SAP S4 HANA Cloud intelligent ERP. So we have uh, the major three things that we can discuss uh, in intelligent ERP is speed of adoption, fit to best practices and predictive analytics. So these are the three major things that we have in, uh, in the intelligent ERP, ERP uh, version of the latest version. So when it comes to the intelligent ERP, uh, I mean like there are a lot of innovations which have come up in the intelligent ERP which we are going to discuss and it makes use of almost all the latest technologies that SAP has EE recently adapted like artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning and uh, uh, internet of things and also the you know uh, uh, natural language processing as well. So the intelligent ERP to reinvent uh, businesses we have dynamic pricing for re retail retail goods, highly accurate sales force forecasting, assisted procurement and sourcing, demand driven replenish replenishment, and data driven logistics, intelligent delivery insights, and predictive maintenance and services, 
automatic invoice matching accelerated financial financial closures closures and all so we are going to discuss about these various topics how exactly this 1802 enables us to do all these things in the coming sessions and uh, we'll take it forward and we'll understand like how exactly it's uh, it's actually happening so intelligent erp makes use of the machine learning internet of things and predictive analytics uh, primarily and there are a lot of other techno other concepts which are, which sap uses as as I, I was discussing then natural language processing is one thing that uh, uh, that is actually very much in in use in the intelligent erp 1802 latest version 1808 latest version so here we have one one uh, you know uh, one concept which is like an automatic detection of exceptions so this can be this can be in the financial statements whenever we have the financial statements we have the smart alerts alerts which can be which can be populated and uh, in the small uh, smart alerts uh, with our smart alerts the this brand new um, business exception detection aims to detect uh, unusual business situations in revenue and cost accounts so wherever there is an unusual unusual uh, uh, development or any any unusual processing happen it immediately alerts us with a with a, with an alert with a message so by proactively informing the group controller of potential issues and proposing explanation for unusual business situations the system takes over a huge amount of manual efforts normally uh, which which uh, chief financial officer usually need to take need to tackle actually but when it comes to the smart alerts in sap financials statements uh, insights proactively informs about issues and proposes explanation so now we, i mean like this this you know the the work that cfo have to do very painfully manually uh, will be automated and it will be immediately you know reflecting back in our in in, in our day to day you know uh, cloud sdk So in this way, uh, SAP Real Spend is leveraging machine learning in order to automatically detect unusual expenses in the areas of wrong bookings, uh, seasonal effects, unusual amounts, or fraud. So this service allows managers to stay ahead as unusual business situations can be detected early in time, and at the same time, it decreases efforts of for investigation of uncommon expenses. So this is this this happens naturally. So next big thing is the smart ordering. So we have the proposals of options for materials without purchasing contract. So when processing long lists of open purchase uh, requirement requisitions, operational purchases can easily create RFXs uh, from the possible bundles suggested by a machine learning algorithm. So this significantly automates the RFXs process by reducing exceptions and errors to improve efficiency and low cost leading the way to an intelligent no touch full automation world so the value proposition would be like uh, receive propo proposals options create a uh, request for quotation directly from even though no purchase contracts are involved provide ease of use of purchases and capabilities would be like options for purchaser purchaser to create an rfq for materials that don't have a purchase contract yet so that's what something which is a smart ordering concept then we have the managing buffer levels so this is one interesting concept which has been uh, you know in, in introduced in the 1808 in this like we have uh, you know demand driven replenishment replenishments so in demand driven replenishments improve the buffer proposal calculations for materials with sources of supply type stock transfer through machine learning capabilities so what is the value proposition for this is improve estimates of stock transfer lead time thereby better sizing of uh, buffer and resulting in better service service levels and potentially less bound cap capital in in inventory and the capabilities would be like use of suggestions of for uh, for predicted lead time for materials with source of supply of type stock transfer for buffer sizing lead time predictions from machine learning models that take historical stock transfer documents into account 
so this is a major thing i repeat uh, there are value propositions and capabilities which we have uh, under the managing buffer levels where we can improve the estimate of stock transfer and uh, we can uh, with a less bound capital inventory and capabilities would be use of suggestion for predicted uh, lead time for materials with source of supply by type stock transfer so when it, it comes to stack stock transfer and then lead time predictions from machine learning models that take historical stock transfer documents into account so you can also forecast what exactly is the lead time for for that particular products then we have the sales performance predictions this is also one one very interesting uh, uh, in advancements that that sp has made in uh, in the in the sales performance predictions So SAP has introduced predictive analytics for sales forecasts and determines the sales forecast using predictive analytics and machine learning. So value proposition would be gain reliable insights into expected sales volumes based on machine learning, improve sales forecast, increase accuracy in requirement planning and the capabilities that uh, uh, that it comes with is the comparison of your achieved sales volume to modeling based productions uh, predictions and a selection of uh, an existing sales plan to analyze to what extent uh, your sales target are been achieved this is one particular uh, sales performance predictions that we have let's say if, if, taking into consideration the past uh, data uh, the, the sales predictions over to the future have been made uh, 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 by default automatically by the system so this is one advancement that we can see in uh, 1802 uh, in, uh, introduction then we have the predictive delivery delays so if at all if you have predictive delivery detail delays uh, this uh, insight uh, gains more importance into the current sales order fulfillment situation of open orders <coughs> regarding the predicted uh, delay of the planned delivery to the customer with the new SAP Fury app predicted delivery delays so we have this this uh, the screen that I'm showing to you is a, a Fury app in which we can see the uh, predictive delivery delays so the value proposition would be like a uh, use predictive analytics to gain early insights into fulfillment on the planned delivery date and take action of uh, improvement if necessary so the capabilities would be monitoring of predicted delay of the planned delivery to the customer in the context of the sales order fulfillment to instantly recognize issues and trigger the appropriate actions and ranging from the in time supply of procurement process to the creation of outbound deliveries as follow up to uh, sales orders across transportation planning and um, picking packing and shipping in the delivery processing to transportation processing and limiting of measures of the delay on time supply of procurement process to the creation of outbound deliveries with with this release so we have these are the capabilities that we have so uh, let me let me uh, repeat what we what we discussed for the capabilities the capabilities would be like uh, basically the monitoring and in time supply and uh, limiting the limiting the measured i mean like delays so limiting the delays and uh, taking measures to reduce the delay So we have uh, manage uh, work center capacity. So from manage work center capacity, I'm going to discuss about this in detail in the next coming session. So in this session, uh, this is the first session of uh, 1808, and uh, I'm going to discuss about it, about these capabilities that we have latest capabilities in detail in in the next coming session. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, do uh, subscribe to our channel. Okay, have a nice day.